You're watching the Road Back YouTube channel, and I am not a doctor or a medical professional. However, I have experienced many different things over the years that are malpractice wise. I am going to discuss two different issues mesenteric adenitis and the difference between a chronic a chronic appendicitis versus an acute appendicitis. Mesenteric adenitis is essentially swollen lymph nodes in your colon and it's typically around the ileum area of the colon where the larger portion of the colon starts and is coming off of the small bowel and essentially if you have any inflamed lymph, lymph nodes, lymph glands, which you know everyone thinks lymph, they, some people automatically think, oh your lymph nodes are swell, though they think it's in your neck or you're having a problem there. You can, but you can also have lymph nodes, lymph nodes are anywhere in our body that's presenting itself with saying, hey, there's an infection, I'm fighting off infection, that's why they swell. It's to help fight off the infection. The mesenteric adenitis which is essentially the mesentery area of the colon and it can be viral or bacterial infection meaning they have to determine if it's a virus or if it's a bacterial infection if it's a bacterial infection it needs to be treated with antibiotics if it's not it's going to progressively get worse and that is what happened to myself uh, back in the spring and when you have these pains they can be directly in that area where your appendix is which like I said is where the inflammation of the lymph nodes popping out is and it basically leads to an appendix pressure pain issue and my symptoms were all classic appendicitis symptoms it can run in your family and sometimes the issue is some surgeons will not operate because they don't see it inflamed even though someone's white cell count could be up to 16 or 18,000 and that's where their pain is because mine started out with the vomiting stomach pain then it went right down to the lower right quadrant area and essentially it was acute but didn't show that it showed the lymph nodes inflamed and the doctor at the hospital said yeah it could be appendicitis we're not ruling that out but right now all we see is inflamed lymph nodes in the area. So the issue is, the downside is to, to appendicitis and the mesenteric adenitis issue. It's best to take out the appendix because the appendix can explode quickly. It can have lots of issues with it and essentially it's a little pressure valve and it does secrete enzymes or it once did um, as I was explained to many years ago in a biology class but essentially it's a worthless or organ it's very small it's like your pinky hanging off your large intestine and once it's removed there's a healing process just like with any surgery but you need a good surgeon to go in there and remove it fully and like I said there's some people that with the mesenteric adenitis could simply be just lymph node inflammation and you have an infection uh, that needs to be taken care of but they need to know if it's a virus or bacteria and if they don't you're just going to get worse and something bad could happen because you do not need a colon infection uh, that could be just ramping up I mean mine went to my kidney area and caused severe pain it was almost like pancreatitis except I knew it wasn't pancreatitis because it was in the right area not the left area essentially you want to rule out what what type of, type of bacteria or virus it is if you have mesenteric adenitis and they say it typically happens in young children after playing in a sandbox but that's not true you can have lymph nodes pop up anywhere in your body at any age and it's due to some sort of infection and it needs to be treated also if you're having appendicitis there are ways uh, that they have discovered uh, and they've, they primarily are just doing this in Pennsylvania hospitals they found a way to detect and I'm sure it's through the enzyme that I guess whatever the appendix secretes 
they can determine if you're having acute appendicitis uh, with a blood test instead of you having to go through a CAT scan. And that is all great and everything. However, if you're not having acute appendicitis, if you're having chronic appendicitis, meaning the pressure pain is constant and it's just never seen on a CAT scan or a sonogram, then that test is irrelevant. It's only good for the people having acute appendicitis, which is essentially it's ready to rupture or it's ballooning up and they can see it on the scan. Another tidbit to add here is if you have your appendix removed, you better ask the surgeon. You're cutting off the appendix fully, correct? Because if you're not, some surgeons, and I this is this is either just their sick way of having you come back for another surgery or what, but they can sometimes leave a nub, which is called a double appendix. They don't cut it off fully. They, they should be cutting it off right at the colon and stitching up the colon, the large bowel in the ilium area. If they don't do that, you're going to have another surgery. You're going to need another surgery. And it's sick to think that a surgeon would do something like that, but some guys just went to medical school just for the money and you got to make sure you trust and know your surgeon or know someone that has used him or her. That concludes my discussion on mesenteric adenitis and the debate about different kinds of appendicitis and how mesenteric adenitis can lead to an appendix removal, whether it be chronic or acute, and whether they want to tell you or not that you're not having chronic appendicitis, you know that a pressure pain down in your lower right area, whether you're male or female, is typically appendicitis.